Hello everyone and welcome back to HITC Sport. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at Sheffield United's 11 if they had kept their young stars. So we're going to go through each player from goalkeeper to striker and then at the end we're going to have a look at what their potential squad could have been. Let's hop straight into it. Goalkeeper, Aaron Ramsdale. Sheffield United sold Aaron Ramsdale to Arsenal for 30 million this summer, but the goalkeeper was a product of the Blades Academy before joining Bournemouth. Ramsdale would eventually rejoin Sheffield United before going to become a star at Arsenal. The gun is number one, looks like he could be an England regular for years to come. Right back, Kyle Walker. Arguably the most accomplished player in this team, Kyle Walker has been a Premier League regular for over a decade now. Walker was a star at Spurs, but is at Manchester City where he's peaked, winning multiple Premier League titles and reaching a Champions League final with the Citizens. Centre back, Harry Maguire. There's also a former blade turning out for the red side of Manchester. Harry Maguire is the Red Devils captain and England regular. Whether or not he's worth 80 million is definitely up for debate, but there's no doubt that he's more than a capable centre half when he's at his best. Second centre back, Matt Lowton. Naturally a right back, Matt Lowton can also play at centre half. Lowton may not be the most exciting player in this team, but with over 200 Premier League appearances to his name, the 32 year old has had more than a respectable career at the top level of the English game. Left back, Carl Norton. Carl Norton hasn't had the career of Carl Walker, but when both men were coming through at Bramall Lane, Norton was seen to be the brighter prospect. The fullback had a solid career, playing 176 Premier League games for the likes of Tottenham, Norwich, and Swansea. Central midfielder, Sander Berg. Sheffield United haven't produced many quality midfielders in recent years, but they did sign one of the brightest young midfielders in Europe back in 2020. Sander Berg was being linked to the likes of Liverpool and Manchester United, but it was Sheffield United who swooped in and landed the big Norwegian. He has not lived up to his potential as of yet, but he's been improving in recent weeks. Second centre mid, John Fleck. The Blades Academy has really struggled to produce a top class midfielder over the past decade and it's hard to imagine any former young Blades taking John Fleck's spot in this starting eleven. Cool and calculated under pressure and good on the ball, John Fleck gives you everything you want and need from a solid box to box central midfielder. Attacking midfielder, Illiman Indai. Sheffield United's current boy wonder, 21-year-old Illiman Indai has made a real splash in the championship this season. A progressive attacking midfielder, Indai is brilliant on the ball and has an eye for goal. This is certainly a player to keep an eye on in upcoming years. For right winger, David Brooks. David Brooks was an immediate hero at Bramall Lane as he took the Steel City derby by the scruff of the neck back in 2017. Almost as soon as Brooks burst onto the scene, he was gone as Bournemouth snapped him up and he made his mark in the Premier League. Sadly, Brooks' career has been halted by illness and we can only hope that he will get well soon and get back to the form where he belongs. Left winger, Shea Adams. Ever improving at Southampton, Shea Adams made a real name for himself at Sheffield United in their 2015 League Cup run. Since then, he's played both for Birmingham and Southampton, establishing himself as a Scotland international in the process. As we hit the halfway point in this video, I would just like to ask you all to leave a comment, like, and make sure you subscribe. It's completely free and we really appreciate it. Straight back in, with our pick for striker, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Another England international in this team, Dominic Calvert-Lewin has really established himself as a star at Everton. Sadly, he's stalled this season due to injury, but with Arsenal sniffing around, it may not be a long time before the centre forward is playing in the Champions League. Strong in the air and good on both feet, he's still definitely one for the future. Honourable mentions, Phil Jagielka. Phil Jagielka started his career at Sheffield United in the year 2000, where he mainly played as a central midfielder. He helped them achieve top flight status for the season 2006-2007, after which he joined Everton for a £4 million fee. He later captained the club from 2013 to 2019 and told 385 appearances for the club. He left Everton in 2019 after 12 years and returned back to his former club Sheffield United. 
then after leaving again and going to Derby and then to Stoke where he is currently. And after going through each player, here is what their final 11 would look like. A strong back line consisting of the likes of Maguire and Walker, a decent midfield with the likes of Fleck and Burge, and a formidable front three of Brooks, Calvert-Lewin and Adams. But you might be asking yourself, where do you think a team like this would finish? So let's go over to FM22 and see where this team would finish. So here we are in FM22. As you can see on the left hand side of your screen, this is the squad that we built earlier on in the video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run through the season. We're gonna see if we can get promoted, where we're gonna finish in the championship. And if we go up, we'll do one more season and see if we can hold our spot in the Prem. So let's crack straight into it. One week later. So here we are at the end of season one in the championship and this team that we have built has finished first, played 46 games, won 32 and collected 102 points. Straight into the Prem for next season and let's see how we do. So here we are at the end of season two, Sheffield United back in the Premiership and wow, they just did it. They pulled a complete and utter Sam Allardyce. <laughs> <laughs> he can't take it, can he? He can't take it! And got exactly 40 points. Exactly 40 points. Let's have a look at how all the players got on. As you can see up the top here, Shea Adams had quite a decent season, averaging a 6.99. 40 appearances with 12 goals and 9 assists. Not bad for Shea Adams from left wing. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, 40 appearances, 9 goals, 7 assists. Averaged a 7.9. Not bad. Carl Walker had a fantastic season, Ramsdale was very good in goal, had a very very good season, even picked up two assists from the goalkeeper spot. And Harry Maguire, unfortunately, kind of subpar as usual, 44 appearances, one goal, two assists, a 6.91. But that just about wraps it up, I hope you all had a brilliant time watching this video, I just thought I'd try something different, try you know, make a video where I'm giving you the facts and the details, building an 11, and then show you how that 11 is going to do according to FM22. If you want to see any more content like this in the future, please let me know in the comments section below. As I said earlier on in the video as well, make sure you like, subscribe and leave a comment giving me your thoughts. But it's RevBoy once again from HITC Sport. Hope you're having a great day. All the best. Peace out.